Hi there, my name is James Peacock and I run the Queen Anne Boleyn Society and I want to congratulate Natalie on the incredible achievement of four years of her fantastic show Talking Tudors. It's hard to believe really though that Talking Tudors has only been around for four years. It's such an integral part of many of our lives now in the Tudor community and you know it's just it's an incredible show and knowing how much work that Natalie puts into it it's so wonderful to see um, the milestones that she's reached with it with the numbers of downloads her listeners growing and the guests that she gets on there and um, I've had the privilege to be featured on the show a number of times as well and I just want to also start by paying tribute to Natalie myself, really. Um, Natalie is a very dear friend to me and many other authors, bloggers and historians out there. Despite all her successes and everything and her standing in the history community, which is very high. She may not agree with that, but I feel it is. Um, she makes sure that the stage is big enough for everyone. You know, she builds everyone around her up. And that means an awful lot to myself and many others. Nat, you are an absolute dear friend and you deserve all these achievements. And I cannot wait to watch how many more there are going to be. With the Tudors in general, what is it that's so in, you know incredible about them that seems to draw so many people in? And well, for such a dynasty that reigned for such a short time, there is something really for everyone. How they come to the throne after this kind of Game of Thrones, you know, battles that we'd seen really at the time. You know, you have people rising to positions that they shouldn't have really risen to. Um, people becoming queen consorts by marrying the king when they shouldn't really have ever been there. Even monarchs, you could say as well. But that is another story. Um, but in general, you know, the, in, the people that you have in that time period are, despite all the centuries that separate us um, from them there's a lot that we can relate to them really which is quite special and it's too much really to sum up in a couple of minutes really certainly I can't really sum up anything that other people haven't already said either but there is something really in there for everyone whether you're interested in the drama the politics the intrigue or even the statesmanship and what's going on at the time not just in England but also Europe as well there's some incredible figures uh, in the you know taking centre stage at the time and it's right it's incredible really that just you know so many years later we're just hungry for more of that really and we're very lucky too that so many locations still survive associated with these places you know Hampton Court Palace Heber Castle the Tower of London etc which I would urge everyone if you ever get the chance those are the top three locations that you must visit of course when um, coming to any of those places because they really do help you feel much more connected to that dynasty really and there are many other locations obviously as well but in general really that period is so engrossing and it's not going to go away anytime soon really which is brilliant for those of us who really love it but yes that's what I would say is the um, the appeal of the Tudors are just too great really to put into words but beside that aside I think I just want to celebrate Talking Tudors and Nat for all the support you give us we celebrate you so congratulations and i can't wait to watch the many more successes that you get as well congratulations again